we are preparing a new strategy plan ourselves for our national society and obviously strategy 2020 is a very important document. It contains many good ideas, it's a visionary text. We want to vermehrt positionieren um die in der Strategie auch vorgezeichneten Ziele zu erreichen. Und das heißt insbesondere Gesundheit von Bedürftigen, Gesundheit von Migranten oder Menschen mit Migrationshintergrund. Fortalecer una cultura de la no violencia hacia los migrantes, hacia las personas que se integran en nuestro país. The biggest problem we have in using it is in deciding what not to do, because the resources are limited and obviously the needs are very large. Wir sind just für die da, die auf der Schattenseite stehen und auch im politischen Mainstream nicht unbedingt die höchste Anerkennung haben. Our national society is pretty much well established, so the traditional activities are well covered. I think we are now in a process of shifting resources more to what I would call social activities because of uh, changing needs in society. People live longer, uh, people are more lonely, family ties are looser. And obviously this, this has big implications, not only in terms of resources, but also different types of volunteers to do those activities. The strategy uh, 2020 it gives opportunity to um, national societies to be more flexible. Concentrate our attention to the fundraising projects or income generating projects in order to keep the projects sustainable. Strengthen our promotion to be more attractive, especially for young people, for volunteers. We are going to reorganize our youth work. Not only work with the vulnerable groups, but uh, developmental work, work with youth, who is the future of the Red Cross, but future of our country. 60% of our volunteers are youth. We would like to have a better cooperation with our national government and the support from these institutions will be valued. The thinking is that the Red Cross is very much an action-oriented organization, that when we speak out we are most credible when we do it from activities on the field and a good knowledge from the area. Uh, we should not do it as a goal in itself, but it should flow from our activities. We shall advocate uh, also uh, in terms of humanitarian diplomacy with our network a network of the Red Cross and 16 uh, non-governmental and humanitarian organizations where we joined our efforts to advocate for the issues of the elderly, for example, in the society. So we contribute to new laws that are to be passed in the Parliament of Serbia. We have a parliamentary group gegründet, Rotes Kreuz, die einmal im Jahr zusammentritt. Alle Parlamentarier haben Zugang zu Tritt und da vermitteln wir unsere Anliegen, nehmen aber auch die kritischen Stimmen auf, die wir manchmal hören aus den politischen Gremien. We arranged business and financial procedures able to report on us on uh, all the funds that we invest in certain programs so that we are accountable to our donors. Но для того, чтобы определить прогресс в наших приоритетах, это, наверное, разработка критериев the statistic it's always has its illustrative moment, but the numbers give a, a picture of society and picture of work. Of course, it has importance. We defined KPIs, key performance indicators for each of our action points, and we follow those up three monthly, and we've been reporting to the board. So uh, with this strategy plan, we'll do the same thing. We will make sure that for each of the action points we define, we also define KPIs to measure them and follow up in an objective measure. Uh, so that it's not just words, but that we can actually measure what we're doing. We put this in our annual report, and uh, so when it's green, it's been done on time. When it's red, we didn't start, or it's not on time. Orange is in between. And uh, last time it worked very well because it motivates people to get as much green lights as possible. This is the chance to change our way of thinking. 